Conserving and safeguarding Singapore's built heritage, this is one aim that has come up strongly in the Urban Redevelopment Authority, or URA's latest draft master plan. And what has caught the attention of many of us is the proposal to have three new neighbourhoods designated as identity nodes. They are Holland Village, Jalan Kayu and Serangoon Gardens. The URA is also proposing that over 70 buildings be conserved. These include Queenstown Library, Alexandra Hospital, the former Commonwealth Avenue Wet Market, and selected bungalows and former military buildings in Salita. To talk more about our conservation efforts, Dr. Lai Chikian, an architectural historian from the National University of Singapore, joins me in studio. Prof, thanks for joining me. Now, thanks the UOA's master plan seems to include uh, a lot more variety. How is this different from previous plans? I think the uh, variety is uh, welcome. So, for example, um, the possible development in the area has uh, six possibilities, and this is open up for uh, discussion with the public and the public can visit the uh, exhibition now on at URA or go online to, uh, to add their views. Uh, the six uh, potentials mean that uh, uh, after strong discussions, maybe perhaps one that uh, the community, that is URA and uh, the public at large, mm -hmm. feel strongly can uh, go ahead rather than the, um, in the past, right? Uh, URA would just uh, predict certain kinds of development and uh, go on with the particular development. Now three, I mean speaking of uh, you know URA picking, three were actually picked by URA, the Holland Village, Shankayu yes. and Serang Garden uh, you know, to, as areas for conservation. What's unique about these uh, uh, three selections? Uh, I think if you look at the landscape history in Singapore, um, each, each place has its own unique histories. Uh, these two, uh, the two areas of uh, Jalan Kayu and uh, Holland Village uh, started out as sort of uh, um, areas that provided service to uh, army camps. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Serangoon Gardens was uh, a result of a uh, housing cooperative. You know, the, de the developers came in, uh, they saw an opportunity, and they, they had subscription, and, uh, and the whole estate was uh, created. So there are some uh, background histories uh, connected to them, but I think uh, on their own, uh, they've already acquired a certain kind of uh, Gravitas as uh, good areas to visit in Singapore. Um, now, speaking of Gravitas, Tiong Baru has become, you know, one of these uh, hip and you know chic yes. uh, conservation areas, and was like kind of bottom up. You know, all these new shops have have moved in, yes. new business, and but traditional shops, are, you know, are now closing and calling it a day. Is there a downside to conservation? Uh, yes, there is definitely a downside to uh, conservation when an area becomes uh, highlighted as having growth potential. Um, Usually, the market uh, will uh, affect the ways of uh, development. Uh, you know, so for example, uh, provision shops uh, and all that have to give way in uh, in Tong Baru to sort of more uh, hip, you know, coffee mm -hmm. cafes and stuff like that. So we've been observing that, and uh, it's it's becoming a trend. Is there any way to res reverse this, or do we need to? Um, I think in any economy, I think it's difficult to sort of uh, completely dictate what is going to be happening on the ground. Um, Tiong Bahru actually started out uh, as a place where most uh, um, proprietors think that it's, it's a viable place to do business. So mm -hmm. um, together with the sort of glut of cafes, you also have uh, nice uh, you know, e other eating areas, mm -hmm. more traditional eating areas. There is a, still the hawker, uh, hawker centre. Yes. But there are also uh, distinctive books, bookstores like uh, books actually moving in. So I think um, the market will probably dictate eventually how uh, the shape of certain districts like Tiong Bahru will uh, develop. Uh, it's really difficult for, uh, I suppose, Iwari to you know, mm -hmm. um, create certain advan you know, advantages for, uh, for provision shops, sure. for example. Yeah. Now, URA has also proposed 70 buildings for conservation purposes. Now, how do you balance the need for conservation and you know rapidly a developing nation which needs a lot of space? I think those uh, examples that you've shown are also a result of consultation with the public. I think an independent group suggested there were distinctive buildings in Queenstown uh, and alongside the uh, um, URA who, who has also got a uh, conservation uh, panel that uh, meet regularly to discuss. Uh, and on top of that, I think uh, uh, members of the public or users of buildings can also uh, approach URA if they feel that they are, uh, the, the building that they like to recommend is 
uh, worthy of conservation. So um, the sudden announcement of 70 buildings is really uh, good news for, for Singaporeans who really need to identify with different parts of Singapore's history uh, as presented in those buildings. All right, Prof, thanks for sharing. Thank thanks for much. joining us. And that was uh, Prof Lai Chi Kian from the National University of Singapore on conserving heritage buildings in Singapore.